So it was the summer of 2019 and we were on a family vacation to Gatlinburg, which is always our favorite place to go, Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge. We love being in that area. But, you know, prior to leaving for our vacation, of course, we've done research and we know, you know, what we want to do. We have a rough guideline of the things we want to do. But, of course, you probably know, too, that everything is subject to change. But we decided we wanted to try a new trail while we were there. And we came across, through some research online, Alum Cave Trail, which we were we were there to have a good time and to do a new hike in Gatlinburg in the Great Smokies. And... You know, we had sandwiches packed, we did some foil wraps and loaded that in the backpack and we headed on our way up to Alum's Cave Trail. Beautiful drive there and uh, you're definitely going to enjoy that part of the experience too. One thing I will say is you need to be mindful of the parking and it's well known to be pretty uh, congested parking. And it definitely was, because when we got there, we had a little bit of a hard time finding a place to park, but eventually we, f we found a spot and loaded everything up. Uh, me and Sarah, and of course my daughter and her friend were the ones with us, so uh, loaded up the backpack and headed towards the trailhead. Of course, when you get to the trailhead, you have the mile marker, and it shows the three distances to the places that you can access from the trailhead, and that's Arch Rock very cool place to reach on the journey up and then the grand finale that we experienced was alum cave bluffs of course they do have a, uh, a trail map right there that you can check out and that's going to show you the distances and the curvature of the trail so definitely take a look at that and give you a good idea of what you're about to hike so good thing to check out before you actually start all right so we're going to start here at the trailhead and we're going to walk all the way up here to arch rock to Alum's Cave Bluff. So I was pronouncing it wrong, but it's all good. All right, let's do this trail. Yeah, but right out of the gate, as soon as you start the hike and you cross over that initial bridge that's right there at the trailhead, you you immediately know it's going to be an awesome hike because you're crossing over Alum Cave Creek and just good signal that this is going to be a very scenic hike and just a good way to start the, the trail. We headed out from there, crossed over the bridge, and started hiking up uh, the trail. And you know, the the whole trail, probably the first mile and a half, almost mile and a half, is just so so relaxing and so scenic and very easy to handle. So I mean, it's not very strenuous for the first 1.5 miles, maybe, and uh, extremely scenic, extremely um, peaceful because you've got the sound of alum cave creek right next to you the entire time you're hiking up this first leg so it's really cool because they have like little scenic stops too it's like little natural uh rest stops so to speak little hidden areas tucked away from the path where you can just get off the trail and you know skip a rock or you know just sit there and relax maybe take a drink break or have a snack or whatever you got packed with you, trail mix. But yeah, the first um, mile and a half is definitely a very easy part of the trail and anyone's gonna enjoy it because it's pretty next to impossible to not enjoy hearing those sounds and seeing all the overhead trees. But all around you, you've got nature just completely enveloped around you. You've got mountain ferns and laurels and huge mountain boulders and rocks so it's just we're so accustomed to being at home and being maybe in front of a computer or staring at a phone when you're out here on the trail it's like you're transported into another world and immediately you know that you're going to be refreshed and rejuvenated after you leave this trail and if you complete it you're going to feel rewarded because you're just surrounded with the beauty of nature in the great smokies but, you know, hiking in and getting a little farther in, we, we started wondering, where is Arch Rock? We knew we had to be getting close. Yeah, so we were wondering, you know, it feels like we've hiked over a mile, a mile and a half. And sure enough, eventually we did get to Arch Rock. And when you're approaching it, it's cool because you have the wide shot of the of the arch area. And you're just like, what is that? And it, and it just looks so cool to just see it live and in person after you've watched you know, videos online or seen pictures of it and all of a sudden there it is right in front of you. But 
really cool, um, I'm pretty sure it was a natural formation. There may have been people from days long past that chipped away at the rock. And of course, man did create the staircase that goes up, up it, because you've got like a stone staircase that leads you all the way up. And it does have a handrail because you will probably need it at this point because it's at this point where it's about to get steeper in elevation. And that begins, from the best of my recollection, at Arch Rock. But yeah, this is where it really begins to go up in elevation. So once you head up that staircase, that's when that's when I really started feeling it. And I believe everyone with me started feeling it too, including Sarah and my daughter and her friend. So it's definitely going to pick up in intensity and elevation at that point. But still, nonetheless, it's all the way up this trail is scenic and just a very enjoyable hike. It's a little steeper hike there, but another, I think it's about another 1.2 miles. And you know you're getting good exercise too, so that's always a good thing. You're burning calories, you're getting your heart rate up, and that, you can never complain when we get off the couch and we go do that. Definitely would recommend taking plenty of breaks and drinking plenty of water. Bring plenty of water. <laughs> Keeping spirits up, enjoying the hike. Looking forward to lunch at the bluffs. So we we continue up, and of course it's getting pretty strenuous. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm not like an avid hiker, but we do like to hike and we've been to different trails throughout the Great Smokies. Of course, never been to this one, but we did hit a point where it was getting tough. And of course you, you stop and you get your breath and you try to regain composure. We knew based on the research we had done that we were in store for a great finale of seeing the actual alum cave bluffs and we couldn't wait to see that but you start feeling it at this point but don't give up just keep keep hiking take breaks when needed and keep pushing forward because you got some beauty in store that lies pretty close to you i see like a big bright area so is this like a sign of we've reached the top you eventually get to a point where you're pretty near the top of the area that you're hiking to. The trail opens up and you have a very good visual of mountains. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. You're at a point on the trail where you, you've just got a wide open visual and a lot of uh, rocky surfaces around you where you could actually sit and just take a breather you know have a couple photo opportunities and just restore your energy a little bit before the final push to the bluffs or to the top of mount lacan see i'm saying it right but like i said we are going to the bluffs so we stalled there for a minute took a few photos and then we kept pushing forward right up into the bluffs That last little stretch, you know, you eventually come to a staircase and you know that you're at the bluffs because you can see them out there on the distance right behind the uh, staircase. But you do have to take that last little bit of energy. You might be a little worn out at this point, but climb up those stairs, step in one at a time and get up to the top. And finally, you're at Alum's Cave Bluff and you're not going to need me to tell you how beautiful it is from that vantage point. You know, this is a really scenic place, a, a great backdrop for photography or video or family photos or couples photos. Um, but just a beautiful spot to be at, uh, to take a moment and just, you know, be quiet and think um, and just look around because it's definitely something you don't get to see every day and you work to get to that point. So you might as well take a moment and enjoy it and, and just spend some time there. Um, like I said, we did pack a picnic lunch, so we had our we opened up our foil wraps and you know sat there and just looked out in the distance and enjoyed lunch, had some waters and a little snack with us and just enjoyed our time up there together. 
Of course, I was filming different vantage points and having fun doing that. So it's really whatever you like to do when you get up there. But the most important thing is, is you're, you finally made it to that point and it's a reward just to see a natural creation like that. It's such a beautiful place to see and experience uh, firsthand. And no matter if you go up by yourself or with a family member or friends, um, you're going to have a memory that is going to last a lifetime, no doubt about it. It's just a great grand finale to, uh, I believe, from the trailhead to the bluffs is 2.3 miles. And you're going to be rewarded well for that part of your journey. So, And then, of course, you're going to be rewarded even more if you go all the way up to Mount Lacan, which is six miles or so from the trailhead. But hopefully this, you know, kind of gives you an idea on should we hike Alum Cave Trail? Hopefully you've learned something and this gave you a little uh, motivation to go try the trail for yourself.